Hey everybody, what's up? This is the explanation of this, uh, well it's you know the disappearing card trick or the single playing card. This move, <laughs> this move right here is so old. I think in every magic book, I think they teach it. But the way I do it, I made my own little presentation spin on it so it works for me. This is what it typically looks like. So uh, it's, it's, it's a, a move they put in manipulation, manipulating cards and the move looks like this. So just, it's very pretty, okay? It's one of those kind of, it, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a visual thing. It's like, wow, you know? I, when you do it, um, it's one of those things that's just boom, boom kind of thing. Now, the secret of this, it won't take you that long to practice. What it, what, what it will take you a while is to get the finger, uh, get you used to doing the move over and over, just like practice. So this is what you're doing. Of course, it's not disappearing. Sorry to spoil the secret for you, <laughs> okay? What you're doing here is it's sitting behind your hand like this. This is, what, this is the end move here. This is what it looks like when you've got the card in this position here. Okay, but I'm moving my hand so you can't see the uh, little bits on the end here. So this is what you do. Grab a card, okay. Now you wanna put your thumb, I'll do it this way so you can see. I'm gonna put your thumb on the middle of the card like here. You're going to go into this grip here. So you've got your two fingers curled over with your forefinger on the top here and your pinky on the bottom there, okay? Then what you're doing here, it's, you're more, it's like um, sort of flicking it back. That's what you're doing. So holding it here, putting your, going from here, fingers go here and as these turn back. So once, once again, once again, use this video to rewind, you can do that, which is goes here. Then you're in this position. Then you're pretty much opening your hand. As you open your hand, you're connecting with these two fingers which are holding the card. They bend down and they all come together like that. Now you're gonna have to do this slowly and really put the card in the position that, most, that feels most comfortable for you because once again, some people I know do it a bit deeper. Some people I know do it a bit on the more, more on the top. Okay, so leave it like this. Okay, that's just um, you know Vegas calling for Ben, the cameraman. So it's right. He'll he'll get back to him later. You know he's famous. So <laughs> cards, fingers go on top. Turn your hand around, and you open your hand up. Now these are the little extra pointers for you guys at home that they don't. It's hard to sort of explain in the books. This is going to happen a lot too. That's fine. Just maneuver it so you know it's comfortable. But when you're like this, that's fine. If you're doing it quick, because what you're doing, you're doing the cover of, depending on what you want to do. If you want to chuck the card up, saying like that, okay? It's, it's pretty hard to see when you're moving your hand. If you keep your hand like this, that's obvious. But you don't keep your hand like that. Because if I do this, your brain goes, okay, it's disappeared. Now you're looking for where it's gone. If your hand's like this for a while, they're gonna go, okay, it's just behind your hand, all right? So, thumb on top, turn your hand around, and it's like this. It's in this position here. It's like a little, like that, okay? This is the presentation I put with it. Practice that move, okay? Just practice this over and over. Use your, get, get relaxed from doing it. And even, you have to get, the hardest part is this. It's really going into this position. It's really going in here. Once you're here, then you can open your hand. That's fine. It's really doing this. A lot of people do it, I don't think they could do it a bit better. A lot of people, what they'll do is they, you will see them connect, like they'll do a move and then they'll do that. Start like that, go each move like that. But when you're doing it, covering it, you should just in, instantly, Okay, just go do it. Now when you're in this position, I'll go back to the presentation just in a bit. When you're in this position, you need to bring it back. How do you bring it back? Well, you do the opposite move. You just reverse the same thing you did before. As you turn your hands in, you curl your fingers in. You still got it pinched here. You put your thumb on the, on the top. It's just reversing the move. You open these two fingers and you release these two fingers, your uh, pinky and your first forefinger, as you grab the card or let the card open. So here, curl in, thumb goes here, fingers come out, grab, grab, release. Do it a couple of times. And once you get, once you get, uh, that's gonna happen a lot too. It's gonna sometimes flick out. That's fine, just get used to practicing it. So this goes out. 
and you're holding it, you can hold it with your fingers or like this. Once you start getting good at it and you can do it quick, then you can even start doing this and catching it with your two fingers on top. But I recommend do this and then do that, okay? Now quickly the presentation, I do it a bit differently. I don't say, hey, watch this, it's gonna disappear. I say, hey, remember in school when you, in science class and you shake something really quick and it looks like it's disappeared? Well, I've mastered it. And I go, watch this. And normally I do it as they're looking down rather than here, but you can do it like here and I go, watch. And bring it out again, okay? And see how it looks really cool because it's going quick? And it gives me the cover to shake it really quick. Most people do it and they shake their hand like this. Why would you shake your hand like that? It doesn't come across as natural. But I'm doing it so it's like a science thing and then bringing it back. And it's just really, really fun. So once again, guys, practice this move, have fun with it, stop, take a bit of time off, then come back to it. It will take a bit of time, but once again, it's so much fun when you learn it. Uh, if you wanna learn some cool new illusions like this one and cool tricks and tips, go to my website, www.freemagiclive.com. See you guys soon.